It's your boy Jolie and he's losing the battle to self. What to do, what to do. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Again, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. This is a channel that we're trying to build together. But before I can go forward, I got to give props to my 2022 coach, Nick, who's given me all the strength routines, rigorous training that a singer needs to build the muscle and the strength that I have. But I am at another level where I have a dilemma, a nutritional dilemma. I want a physique that represents what I live. But I failed. My self just won't let me move forward. So I had to go to Beerus's plan to train. I had to find the new art form, guys. And I signed up to a 12-week program headed by Matthew Sinclair Fitness. You can look out his Instagram. You can see all his clients. This man knows what he's talking about when it comes to nutrition. And he says he could answer my call of need for nutrition. So again, guys, I am going to walk you through a 12-week vlog of my progress. And, you know, hopefully I could share some stuff with you guys. But before we can move forward, um, the first thing we definitely need to talk about when it comes to fitness and when it comes to moving forward to changing your physique is your nutrition we gotta focus on your nutrition and with that i had to have three accessories i had to have my fitness pal i had to buy a food scale and i had to understand how protein worked again this is still a back and bicep day video but at the same time it allows you to see something while i talk about my three major points that i've learned in phase one of week one so let's talk about my fitness pal my journey with my fitness pal was pretty crazy it showed me where i was overestimating with food and allowed my stuff to be extremely extremely organized so guys make sure if you're going to get into nutrition or if you finally figure out what your macros are my fitness pal can help you and the free version is great enough so again that's allowed me to hit my caloric deficit and and it's allowing me to be able to be a lot more effective with what I eat, how I eat, and when I eat. It allowed me to even um, sway away from the foods that would be bad and that are high in calories. And man, there's a lot of good food that are high in calories, guys. Especially when you're Haitian like me, man. All we eat is nothing but carbs. And you can't talk about my fitness pal and not talk about a food scale. Food scales are extremely inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon for as cheap as $7.99. But a food scale makes it so accurate, makes MyFitnessPal that much more accurate when it comes to assessing and hitting your macros. You'd be surprised at how much estimation you're doing when you until you start weighing the grams for real and weighing the ounces of milk and weighing the water, the juice. Again, a you need the scale if you're going to use MyFitnessPal. This is essential, especially to reporting to your coach if you have one. All right, guys, for the last point, we got to talk about protein. Um, one of the biggest things that I've learned when it came to the subject of protein with this coach of mine is the difference between a mass gainer and a um, and just weight protein for lean mass. Right. And mass gainers, I went with the mass gainer probably because obviously I was gaining size. But at the same time, I went there more so because I saw 60 grams of protein per serving, which made it easier for me to hit my 1.3 gram of protein per weight that I weighed. The problem was it came with a ton of carbs. Approximately 80 carbs is found in this pro gainer that I had. So I now had to reduce myself to a whey gainer. Now what I do use is I do use Fairlife milk which comes with about 13 grams of protein. So that gets me to a point and I use about two cups of that which gets me to around 26 grams of protein. And then I do another two scoops of 25 grams of the whey, which is the best way because when it came to my fitness pal, thank you God for my fitness pal and thank you God for my food scale, I was better able to assess how to hit the goal that I needed to hit. So again, guys, this was something that is detrimental when it comes to getting to your nutrition and getting your nutrition right because my nutrition was failing but i feel that there's a new level i'm about to unlock on this planet this planet of beerus man i'm going to learn how to walk in the ways of god keep bro i'm gonna become a saiyan guys i'm gonna become a super saiyan god i promise you bro. i promise you so guys again to um and also what i failed in with my first week phase was everything i kind of explained to you but also accountability um, with a coach that's why i think that if guys if you really are serious about this weightlifting thing bro invest in a coach and it's gonna cost you um both coaches cost me something and again i didn't look at the number because my goal mattered more to me 
And again, let that be your accountability. If you're going to spend a grand, spend a grand. If you're going to spend 800, spend 800. And make sure it does hurt so that when you look back and want to give up, you could literally say to myself, I can't really because I put too much money into this, so I can't fail now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I hope you go back and rewatch so that you can get the weightlifting um, side of it. But again, this is my phase one, week one. Again, I'll be updating you next week on phase two, week two, but with my pains, my hustle, and my next, um, my next, um, damn, I'm running out of thoughts, but my next um, advice when it comes to or not advice, but my next stories when it comes to my lifting journey within this thing. So I hope you guys enjoy.